So guys, we don't know if Tamika Scott and Latosha Scott will settle their differences and end this beef because one is accused of stealing money from the other one years ago. They were both members of Escape, the girl group back in the 90s. Now they're on the Queens of R&D and there's a big feud going on. One sister is accused of stealing from the other. So recently, Latosha Scott was on the Ricky Smiley show. And she had a confrontation with the brat because, you know, that's where a brat works. So, of course, she was asked about the gospel album that she have out. And everybody says it's amazing. But her sister, Tamika, is also accusing her of stealing the contract for that album. Tamika said both of them were supposed to be on that album. And her sister, Latosha, stole that contract to go solo and excluded her. But she was also asked about that $30,000 that she allegedly stole. She and her husband stole years ago from her own sister. So Latosha said, absolutely not. I did not steal money from my sister. But from how things went during that interview, man, the brat was not having it. It looks like if she has already sided with the other sister, Tamika Scott. So Latosha, it was kind of surprised in my opinion that she was asked this question in such an assertive manner when the brat went in on her. Let's listen to what she had to say when she was interviewed on the Ricky Smiley show. Uh, Latosha uh, Scott is on with us this morning. Y'all give a big round of applause. Yeah, Latosha Scott. And, uh, uh, Latasha, thank you for coming this morning. For sure. But, uh, it's family. I mean, you know. Let's go. Uh, yeah. We are so happy to have you. And uh, uh, thank you for taking this interview. Uh, unplanned and at the last minute, uh, gracing us with your presence. You are a legend. And uh, let's get into it, Latasha. You know Brent, Gary, Maria, Rock T, okay. Special K. What's up, y'all? What else? Hey, hey, what's hey, everybody hey. in the building. What's oh. up, Brent? What's All up? Right, so. So a lot has been said out there in the media about mm -hmm. you and uh, you know you and your sister Tamika and uh, we want to clear things up <clears throat> from your perspective. Uh, what happened and where did it start? Um, I'm not sure. It, once we started to film, everything started to go crazy. You know, um, like I tell people, I signed up to be celebrated. You know, all of us, to be honest, 30 years in the game. That's what it should have been. Um, there are so many things that, that I don't understand about editing and just how everything has kind of transpired. So all I can say is I signed up to sing. I signed up for for good stuff, and it ended up not being that. And I just wish I never would have signed up for this, you know, to be honest. And with my sister, she's always going to be my sister. That's my family. We go through highs and lows, and everybody got peaks and valleys. It's just right now we're going through it in the public eye. Um, and I just ask that people would allow us to do that without judgment. And allow us to be sisters and, and, and figure this out. But folks, it's one thing with her saying they're sisters and they go through highs and lows. We understand that. As family, any family, go through highs and lows with their siblings. But this is different. With this family, she is accused of stealing $30,000 way back when. When the checks were being issued when they were in that group escape. I mean, you're talking many years ago when everybody needed that check, when everybody was coming up, when her sister really needed that money. Now, she's accused by her sister, directly by her sister. This is not somebody else accusing her. This is her sister saying, you stole from me. I got proof. But let's continue to hear what she have to say. You know, so... <clears throat> so now, Latasha, now, this year, you know who this is, so I'm trying to introduce myself to you. you but Latasha, now, I, we've been following the show, SWV and yes. um, Escape and what have you and stuff. And the madness has been going back and forth with you and um, um, Tamika with the $30,000 alleged mm -hmm. that you supposed to have taken from her and your husband, Rocky. So my thing is, did y'all take the money? And I know you said um, in a report that, you know, to... Get your sister back, you will give her back the money. And thirty thousand dollars is not that much money, especially with you and Rocky. So my thing is, did y'all well, take the money? Did you I cash the check? I never said give something back. I said I wanted oh. my sister back. Oh, you know, oh, if I it takes thirty thousand dollars to bring us back, then I would. Um, that's what I said. But no, it's it's a very delicate situation and no, 
I didn't, we didn't steal anything from her. Now, Tamika Show proved where her husband's signature appeared on a check that was issued to Tamika Scott. Now, the signature on the bottom of the check, Edward Bouvins, her husband said that's his name. Now, folks, she's between a rock and a hard place because she, she gives that money back would be an admission of guilt. It would be her pretty much saying, okay, here's your $30,000 back. My bad. I stole that money when I needed it. Back in the day, I needed it. Even Tiny's mother came out and said the checks were issued to Tamika. It was more than one check. It wasn't just for the 30000 And if Tamika wants her money, she has to take her sister to court. Natosha and her husband redirected those checks, allegedly. So now here is Tiny's mother with first-hand information as to what happened to the checks. Now, the question is, this is all alleged. And her husband's apartment and she was given accounts of what happened no we did well, not. why is she saying that why is well, she saying that, that there's there, there a video where she actually had the, the accountant on and the lady showing the receipts uh, there that, was an accountant uh, on uh, uh, uh if no not, that was that was uh, that was little tamika mama folks i don't think this thing can be ironed out anytime soon because it's one sister accusing the other one and both of them have doubled down in their conviction that one has stolen and the other one is saying, no, I did not. Sister will talk to me. How does everybody know? How is it just coming out? How is it because the cameras are out? I'm just finding out something like this that she says happened years and years and years and years ago when she was pregnant with my 10 year old niece. Mm. So now when the television comes on, this is something, how would you feel if somebody all of a sudden just brought something up that you knew nothing about? And now you got the world asking questions. I don't know nothing about no money. No $30,000. I don't know nothing about that. So instead, talk to me. I'm your sister at the end of the day. So out of all this that's been going on in the media, all this he say, she say, never no, have I ever heard, never talked. Never talked about they it. never discussed it. Never discussed it. Wow. When the television came on is when I found, when y'all watched is when I found out. What? So you holding on to something that I know nothing about and you trying to tell me that I knew? No. Yeah, because the best way to resolve, you got to get everybody in the room together. That's all I'm saying. But why are you not talking to me? So well, what they is said, it? They, they it said they were trying was to talk to you. TV? Who was who? Who was they? they just wish that who? who, who? Uh, the girls. The girls. Uh, 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 Brad, uh Brad, your sister and Brad, Candy. Let me just say But they this. said you change your number all the time, and somebody no, don't Brad, have your no, number. Brad, Brad, when I had my number, nobody was using it. And it was oh. the same time. Nobody was using. It. I get it. You know, everybody. You got your people that you like. You know what I mean? I get it. But at the end of the day, please listen to all sides. You know, I get it. No, Y'all said I, I was a very dominant person i'm dominant because i love what i do i'm passionate about what i do so when it comes down to the group if we're not celebrated with the things Sasha, that we've done we was all scared of you we was loving on me you was loving on me back in the day we was all scared of you nobody from me when i came in because they was like you me that's what they was like when i first peaked my head in that so so death door all y'all was like not happy at all with me everybody know that though and they was like looking at me like who is this Hold on one second, Sasha. Brad. Come on, let's keep it. Let's keep it a hundred, Brad. Me and you oh, tight. All I know how to do is keep it a hundred. Okay, well let's go back. Me and you was tight. Me, you and Nicole. We think when you peeped your head, I was the one who embraced you the most at JD Studio. I okay. never forget it. I came from Chicago. All my granny taught me was I love everybody. But then when I stepped in that door and y'all was recording or something, y'all looked up at me with an ugly face. Now we might we was cool after that, but at first I felt no love and I was scared of you the most. <laughs> Hey, hey, Brad, can me, I ask Brad. Brad. I, I, yeah. you loved on me the most. I was I with your mama I, and everything. I, I did on, love Brad. on you. We I all grew up to, together. Come on, Brad. I know your mama, too. I, I mean, you know. I just got to ask you. one question. I got you. Uh, Rocky I got did, you. Yeah. I got you. Now, we saw that bantering back and forth with the I got you could have went way left. And I think maybe something has happened in the past with Brad and Latosha that Brad is not quite saying because she is feeling mighty salty. And it's, I don't think it's just because she's siding with the other sister. I think this is deep-seated and deep-rooted. 
And when you're talking about young women, and a lot can happen in relationships and past relationships, the people that they know, and all the dirt that happened, and I, I think it's now surfacing. Yeah. So one thing that Tamika's mama said was that uh, you, she alleged that you and Rocky changed the address to your apartment in New York versus her uh, apart- house in Hampton. Did that happen? Uh, first of all, my sister didn't live in New York, and no. All of us would stand with my mother, but no. Well, no, she said she didn't know who Ed, Edwin or Edward Bivens it was, and she found out that was your husband. Okay, well, everybody knows it's not true. Okay, well, everybody knows it's not true. So Brad said everybody found out that Edwin or Edward Bivens is your husband. He said, well, everybody knows that's not true. So I took that to mean like Brad, that she was denying the name of Edward Gibbons. And then she swung it around, pulling the old Jedi on Brad, that she didn't say what she just heard her say. Everybody know what's not Dad, true. Edward Bivens, come on now. Oh, I, don't, I don't know his name. <laughs> okay. Now she said, everybody knows it's not true. And then she says, come on now. But she's not admitting to nothing. She's not saying, well, that's my husband's name. She's just trying to be coy. Come on now. Everybody knows that's not true. Everybody knows what's not true. Edward Bivens is your husband's name or not? She needed to clarify that, but she wasn't clarifying. She was being coy. She did say everybody knows that's not true pertaining to the question that Brad had asked her concerning her husband. Then she said everybody knows that's not true pertaining to the name of her husband, either being Edwin or Edward Given or Vivens. And she said, that's not true. Come on now. I know his name. Well, she does. Oh. <laughs> she well, knows. let me let me just interject and say what I've been saying the whole time. I've been around y'all since I was kids. And yeah. what I do know to be true is no matter what you did or said when we was little, um, your sister would definitely take your side, whether you was right or wrong. And, vice versa. and I guess that's how sisters do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was so that made it like two against two. And, mm. and, and it made it because to me, you always seem like the, the person everybody had to listen to, I guess, because you was the oldest. But Candy always seemed to be the one that was hurt and slighted because they had to take your side and follow what you said. Do You said Candy was hurt and slighted? Yeah, slighted because everybody took your side because you kind of was the what, leader of the group, right? But on on what in what instance can you can you say that about? Um, uh, remember we used to be on tour and stuff like years ago. Just uh, Candy would just always seem like she would be sad. Just I don't know different instances like, you know, we was on tour for a long time. We did a lot of stuff together back in the yeah. day when we was kids. I don't remember her being sad though. Really? No. So it was kind of a surprise to Brad that she didn't know that. Candy was sad all those years while she was touring with them because it was obvious. We all know that Candy shows her emotions on her face. So you couldn't miss it. So she's being disingenuous, I believe. So they moved on to talking about Tiny's mom and the receipts she was showing and how she was saying it's true that the checks did go to Latosha and her husband. So the point is everybody couldn't be lying. I mean, it's one thing accusing your sister of lying on you, but here we have Tiny's mother who is saying, and it's true, that she did take money, her sister's money. The checks went in her husband and her name. Oh, okay, no, she's The white lady? Yeah, yeah that's little Tamika mama. That's, that's, yeah, no, she's that's, not that's a Tiny mama. That, that all the chicks, all the chicks went to, uh, went to you and your husband. That's not true. So now, here's Letitia setting the record straight. She says she's now going to talk about this again. I finished revealing what I'm about to reveal. I don't want an apology from her. because Let me tell you something. She's not going to get an apology. And after I finish revealing what I'm about to reveal, I don't want an apology from her because I'm not vain like that. I'm not vain. I don't need an apology. I just need you to go somewhere and repent. And ask God to forgive you and your husband who's out here being trifling, lying on me and my other group members, sending threat text messages from an anonymous number, but then turn around and do a video and say the same thing that's in the threat text. Girl, 
you and your husband got to be the most simplest criminals in the world. How are you going to send me up the red text? Let me explain the text. I will put it up here so you guys can see it. And, you know, I might even share the video where she's saying things that's in the text. So I got a threat text about me, Tiny, and Candy, all right? First of all, her husband says that I sent him naked pictures. And he says something about Tiny, and he says something about Candy that I'm not going to say, which are all lies. He's the devil. He's evil. A lot of stuff has happened over the years where I have protected my sister and her husband because I wanted a family. I didn't want to be an outcast. I didn't want them not to love me anymore. So I took a lot of things, not just off of them, but also off my mom. So I did not want to be out here without love. So, of course, I let things ride. But to have that thrown back in my face, my loyalty to my family, and for you to say that I'm a liar when y'all are around here trying to extort me, and you sit here threatening me, saying that I need to apologize and say I made a mistake. No, I didn't make no mistake. Miss Diane already explained to everybody that she signed all of us up for sound exchange. Well, I signed Escape, every one of them, up for sound exchange. And um, I, I sent all the paperwork, and, and Tamika, I, I, I did Latasha, everybody. And Tamika told me when she, when we filled out the paperwork, her she was living in New York then, mm -hmm. and and I still have the paperwork, and I filled it out and I put it. Her address was all in New York and everything. Tamika, my my Tamika had gotten her checks, and it was a pretty big check then. I'm thinking it was like close to twenty thousand dollars the first time. They got a lot of checks though, and Tamika said I didn't get my checks. And I said, well, you should have. I said, because Tamika's gotten several checks already. And so we called up to Sound Exchange. Me and Tamika was on the line. And we talked to, this guy's name was Joe Mo Grady. I think he's passed away. But back then, he was the person we talked to. And he talked to Tamika. And she asked him questions about her checks. And he told her that her checks were going to Hampton, Georgia. And so after that, she said, well, I live in New York. How did this happen? And he sent her copies of the checks. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, so he, sent, I just, he sent copies. He said something about your sister and Rocky. Mm -hmm. Or Edward Bivens, because I really didn't know Rocky's name. Right, he said Edward, Edward Bivens, Bivens cash your checks. But how was I supposed to get my money back? The only way you could get your money back is you had to prosecute him. And you said, I don't want to do that. Once we did do the investigation, well, they did. They sent information. Someone sent in which was my sister, and I will be put showing that in a second. She changed the contract and put um, her name on the contract saying that she was my manager. And I, you're going to see that in a second. And then they put my, uh, they sent my passport. It was a lot of I stuff. I know he said, you know, that they, that they had proof. They thought it was you and everything, And but there's only reason that you, that you couldn't get your money back is you would have to prosecute them. No one has a reason to lie. And you're going to see with the receipts. And if it wasn't for Miss Diane, none of us, me, Candy, my sister, Tiny, nobody would have gotten these checks from Sound Exchange. If it wasn't for you finding out about that royalty. Well, see, my husband with the TAMs, I signed them up and that's how I found out about it. And our business managers in New York told me about it. So that's kind of how I knew about Sound Sound Exchange. Thank you for for doing that because we've all we're still getting checks today. That's good. <laughs> Get them checks. Yes, love you. Thank and I love you. Tasha still. I mean I I love her. I mean yeah. and I, I would never lie on none of y'all. I, I love y'all. I know. Y'all my babies. Somehow, my information was changed and sent to Sound Exchange. Now, when my sister was asked about Sound Exchange, she acted like she didn't know what I was talking about. So I'm not going to do too much, but I will clear my name. I will show you a few pieces of evidence that shows how they went in and they changed my address to their address how they changed my email. Everything that Diane, Miss Diane did was changed by my sister, Latasha Scott. That will give you evidence. Now, the misconception is the 30,000 
it wasn't one check. It was multiple checks. It wasn't just one. So I was very nice. I was being very nice to say that only 30,000 was told was stolen from me. I was very nice to say only 30,000 was taken from me, stolen from me rather. So you want your apology? How about I give them proof what you did? Just a little bit, not a lot. I'm not trying to bury you. You just need to stop being out here say, saying these false things, you and your husband, these threats and everything else. Mm -mm. It's not going to work. Oh, yeah, one of the threats were that my tape, I have a sex tape that I did. Yes, when I was in my 20s, I did a sex tape. So, you know, I didn't want to take it back to my house, so I gave the tape to my sister and told her to hold it. So, you know, I can watch it every now and then. You know, I just got to be honest with you. I was, I was looking good on the tape. But uh, anyway, I gave it to my sister, so I went back to get it. She said someone stole it out of her safe. So I said, okay, well, who got the safe code? Who got the code to your safe? She said only her and her husband. But somebody stole my tape. Now I'm about to be blackmailed by them. If I don't apologize, they're going to put the tape out. This is what the text says. So, you know what? You're not going to scare me. You got my tape, but you said you didn't have my tape. Now all of a sudden you want to extort me and put the tape out? <laughs> and you're doing a gospel album. Hmm. Let's talk about that. So at the beginning of last year, my grandmother and my mom all said they wanted me and my sister to do a gospel album. So the management at the time went and I sat down with her and she said that Motown Records offered me and my sister a, a gospel deal. Right. So my sister came up to my house March of last year, came up, spent the night, got snowed in. We were singing, we were cooking, having a good time. But it was a scratch in a record that I told her that we need to split everything down the middle. We need to write everything. We need to create everything together. And all of a sudden, she was she was outraged. She was like, well, this is what I do. I do music. I do music. You can do screenplays and you can write plays and movies, but I'm the singer in the family. So me and my husband was looking like, what just happened here? We're sitting here talking about a, a deal, a gospel deal. For us, and she just went bananas. I'm the singer. I'm this. I write. I do this. So in uh, between all that eyes, I was tired from cooking and cleaning. I fell asleep on her butt. But when I fell asleep, my husband said she kept talking. He walked out. She was just mad. So when she left my house, she never mentioned it again. And now she posted receipts on her thing saying that Rocky got us a deal. But if you look real, real close to the paperwork, like I did, I screenshot it. And read it, it says, Dear, whatever the guy name was, she was asking questions. She said, She said, uh, What's his name? The manager, Rocky, and I. So the and I was not Rocky. It was the lady who sat down with us and told us who she got us the deal. Our old management. <laughs> so how did Rocky get us the deal? I was just so sick and tired of her praising him like he's God. It's like she wants him to be this big, okay, to be the stay focused. <laughs> Stay focused. But he did not get us the deal. I'm sure he, he was the one that talked her out of it, of both of them. Because it's how you steal my money and steal our gospel deal. Oh, and it gets, y'all, it gets better. Check this out. So I have people calling me, sending me. I'm in church. This is the crazy thing about it. I'm in church and I got a text. And somebody said, what's going on with this? So evidently, if you go on your cable network and you look up uh, a show, Underneath the show will tell you who the actors are or who the people are that's on the show. Someone has went and replaced my pictures with my sister. So not only did you steal money and our gospel album that we told grandma that we were going to do. But now, if you all go look, now me, my image is gone and is replaced with her pictures. Yeah, it's just a lot of cricket stuff that has happened. and. This is just a lesson for folks out there. Some things you just cannot leave alone and let it just die down. Sometimes you got to teach people a lesson because they're going to keep using you as a doormat over and over. Now, because she let one thing go, a 30,000 plus, 
because she said it was multiple checks, she let that go. So her sister now screwed her over with a music deal, and she let that go, and now she screwed her over with the image of this movie that she did, some type of screenplay that she did, and now her pictures have been replaced with her sister's pictures, as I guess promoting her sister. So some things you got to let the law fight for you. What she should have done and she can still do is go after her for her money. She got to set a precedence because her sister is going to keep screwing her over. That's what I see. And this is all a legend. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. But I feel if she doesn't put a stop to it, her sister and her husband, her sister's husband, they're going to keep sticking it to her. Sometimes your own family can be your worst enemy and you got to take those blinders off and fight fire with fire. It's some, something about Todd, he said in the text, but it's crazy because things that were in that threat text, when my sister did her interview on her bus, dogging everybody out, talking about candy, talking about I lied, certain things that were in that threatened text was in what she said. Wow. They mentioned a tattoo that only she knew about. They mentioned the sex tape that mysteriously disappeared. They mentioned pictures that was never sent to him when he cracked my door phone by saying he was my ex-husband. They are evil, evil people, but I'm not going to allow you to keep sitting out here and give a false narrative about me. I've, I've had your back. I was stupid. I did things and you throw it in my face. And you want to do a video say, oh, you know how she is. I, 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 I owned up to that. When I was wrong, I apologized. This time, I'm not wrong. The evidence is here. I'm not talking about this anymore after this. Now the world knows that you are a liar that is doing a gospel album. <laughs> Thief. Stealing from the church. Stealing from your sister, stealing my identity, but what you won't do is steal my pride. Go ahead, leak the tape that you said you lost. Go ahead, embarrass your niece. Go ahead, because you really don't care nothing about them because you would have never stole for them in the beginning. Go ahead and watch what God does. God don't play about me. I don't hurt nobody. I don't do nothing. And the thing I did about Candy, I was in my late 20s. We're almost 50 years old, and you still holding it over my head. But I'm glad that she forgave me. But I forgive you, as I did before. Never meant to mention it. I was just pushed in a corner because you tried to destroy me in that first scene. But hey, it's life. And like you said, we're sisters, but not by choice. Words are powerful. And I'm starting to listen. It's the difference between hearing and listening, and I'm listening. Well, I love you, but what you won't do is make me look like a liar. Mm -mm. I've grown from my mistakes, and I've learned, and I'm not letting nobody put nothing over my head of my past. Who do you, ma'am? Don't have to apologize to me. Go apologize to God and apologize to my nephew. And apologize to my children. So guys, that's what Tamika had to say about her sister. It's devastating to know that a family member would do you like that, steal from you like that, if it's true. it Well, she provided the evidence. So I guess it is true because the evidence is there. And Tiny's mother did testify in the court of public opinion and said, yes, it did happen. Yes, it's true according to Tamika and Tiny's mama, but I'm going to have to say allegedly because they have not been in a court of law for the court to decide. But let's continue to listen to the Ricky Smiley Show and what Latoshi have to say to the brat and the others. So one thing that Tamika's mama said was that uh, you, she alleged that you and Rocky changed the address to your apartment in New York versus her uh, house in Hampton. Did that happen? First of all, my sister didn't live in New York, and no. All of us would stand with my mother, but no. Well, no, she said she didn't know who Ed, Edwin or Edward Bivens it was, and she found out that was your husband. Okay, well, everybody knows it's not true. 
Everybody know what's not Dash, true. Dash, Edward Bivens, come on now. Oh, I, don't, I don't know his name. <laughs> okay. I know his name. Well, she does. Oh. <laughs> so now this is the breath interviewing her. She well, knows. let me let me just interject and say what I've been saying the whole time. Um, even when Candy, Tosh, and Tiny came on Dish Nation, um, I've been around y'all since I was kids, and yeah. what I do know to be true is, no matter what you did or said when we was little, um, your sister would definitely take your side, whether you was right or wrong, and vice versa. And I guess that's how sisters do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was so that made it like two against two, and mm. and, and it made it because to me, you always seem like. The, the person everybody had to listen to, I guess, because she was the oldest. But Candy always seemed to be the one that was hurt and slighted because they had to take your side and follow what you said do. You said Candy was hurt and slighted? Yeah, slighted because everybody took your side because on you kind of was the what? leader of the group. Right, but on, on what in what instance can you can you say that about... Um, remember we used to be on tour and stuff like years ago. Just uh, Candy would just always seem like she would be sad. Just I don't know different instances like, you know, we was on tour for a long time. We did a lot of stuff together back in the yeah. day when we was kids. I don't remember her being sad though. Really? No. So Latosha is denying that Candy was even sad. And this is the thing: if somebody is with you, a new blatantly everybody else see that they're sad but you don't see that they're sad then something is wrong there's a disconnect and this is what i'm thinking if she is not owning up to the fact that candy was very miserable when they were a group as and on tour years ago maybe she's not owning up to the fact that she took this thirty thousand dollars she and her husband allegedly and if she can deny one thing maybe she can deny the other so I'm wondering how everybody else knew that Candy was sad, but Latosha didn't know. She's acting so surprised and brand new, like, oh, that's a surprise to me. I never seen her sad before. Girl, bye. Oh, I think she. I, I've seen her be sad a lot and kind of like down. Um, and you're are you um saying that that's because of me, bro? I'm saying because they t they took your side most of the time. It seems like. Because t even if you even if you wasn't right or if you was wrong, your sister would always take your side, and you was like the leader of the group back then. Was you not like the leader back then? Well, at the end of the day, you know that's my sister, and most times when you have a sibling, that's the bond that you have. It's not so much as you know trying to bully anybody. It's just that's that's what how we were brought up. That's the bond. Um, as far as me uh, being the leader, I was I was always been that person who you know when it comes down to it musical you know making sure everybody was on their notes and stuff like that so I, and when you're speaking i don't know expect you know what instance you're speaking about but okay well i'm just speaking right. from what i what what i did witness of, about her being like sad and stuff like oh, well, all right sorry to hear that all right y'all right, we got sad yeah, i think she said got... that i actually rewatched the other the other show what's the other one y'all did before this one and I think uh, she was like almost crying, saying, "How could you not see when she was sad? She was sad all the time, and uh, she, like she felt attacked all the time, or something like that." Okay, well, no, I don't remember that. I remember her saying that she felt like we didn't have a bun, she and I. Right, right, right. But not that she was sad all the time. I this is my first time hearing that. But my question to you, Latasha, is you know I went to your Instagram, heard your beautiful new uh, gospel record, and you sound amazing. You look amazing. Thank you. Um, what would you like to see happen in terms of the drama happening with your sisters in Escape and you all coming to a resolution? Do you see you all coming back together? Um, so that it's not a distraction from you trying to promote this gospel album? Just that, you know, a resolve, us coming back together, um, understanding that all of us have to be held accountable for the things that we've said and done, and just communicate, you know, in, in a way where it's not the pointing of the fingers, but if it's something that you have to say, get it off your chest and, and just keep it moving. Because really, um, I really like to apologize because the fans don't really need this. It's all it's supposed to be about the music, um, but it's not that, you know, I and when it came down to this reality stuff, you know, I'm a singer. I'm not I'm not this reality thing ain't me. Um, tried thought that it was gonna be different, but not. But I would love for us to get to a resolve. You know, yeah. I've reached out to my sister, everything. Like so it's not me trying to hide anything or run away from something. It's just I guess time. So guys, what do y'all think? You think she stole from her sister? You think she's heartless enough? To steal from her sister who needed that $30,000 years ago when them checks were being handed out. She and her husband 
are being accused of allegedly rerouting that money to their apartment and taking several checks. According to her sister, Tamika, it wasn't just the one time. It wasn't just the 30000 She said she just said $30,000 to leave it alone. But she said it was several checks. So do you all think she should take her to court and recover that money? Because Tamika showed proof that she has their signature on those checks. So, I mean, that's proof enough to go to court with, I would think, and win her lawsuit and recover that money. So this video came out yesterday and Tamika said it would be the last one. She's not doing any other. Because all she wants to do at this point is mend and heal with her family. But I feel as though it's very, very unfair that she allegedly stole from her sister and her feet is now being held to the fire. And she got on this holier than, than thou hat because we know she's very much in the church. So I'd like you guys to drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know if Latosha should be taken to court. She and her husband for allegedly stealing her sister's money, Tamika. So here's the interaction between the brat, Latosha, and Latosha's husband on the Ricky Smiley Show. And Brad, you know me. I know you quiet over there now, but you know. I know. Me. Well, well, I know you what? What you? What you? I mean, what you, you saying? I'm saying what you, you know saying? me. You, 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 you know. Oh, God, I know what yeah, about you. I know history. what about you. You, you, you know exactly. Right. You so, know so, 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 tell me what I know about you. I, what you mean? You know, I ain't the guy to be running around here doing no rah rah. I would think you would know that. You ain't never seen so, me. So, so, what, no what do you expect me to say? I know you, but no, I don't like that. I'm acknowledging. I'm acknowledging you on here. I'm saying, Brad, you know me, so you know. I'm saying, you ever heard me do some BS out here in the streets? I don't know you like that i don't know about your personal life and what oh, y'all doing your okay. personal life yeah, yeah. i don't know about you and no mistress i don't know about none of that stuff no, no, no. uh oh i think brat just dropped some tea she just dropped some jewels y'all okay this man was accused of having a mistress but you guys gonna see how he skirted around the issue and let me tell you something the brat is pretty ticked off with them because it looks like if she's already sided with who she's going to be on the side with she already picking up for the sister tamika listen to the rest of the interview this is really not an interview honey these people are going at it it's more like an attack life and what y'all doing your oh, personal life yeah, yeah. i don't know about you and no mistress i don't know about none of that stuff no no, no i ain't That's talking right. about I that okay got, you know, no, saying. i was saying i'm saying what 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 brand, you, you know me shot i'm shot your pot you know like oh I yeah i know you yeah, from shot yeah, right. yeah i wasn't saying it like that i'm just oh, saying oh i thought you were like, saying like I, oh what, no i didn't okay. say you said <laughs> nothing hey, nah, what's nah, up i'm trying to what's up that's why she's shot town too right that's yeah, we, we from Shot Town, yeah, definitely. Well, Tasha, you know what he's saying because that's your husband, but I didn't understand what he was saying because he said I know him like I had said something oh, no, bad no, no, about no, him and no, I had no, it. Oh, no. I, mean, so I, I just want to make sure. Hear, no, no, no. I didn't okay. hear that type of well, thing. I, I, I that can't that clear up nothing. I don't know nothing about um, Ricky. I can't clear up nothing. I don't know nothing about. So that was I know okay. what I didn't do. I didn't take nobody. So money. why is Tamika showing all these receipts and showing? I think it came out yesterday. Why is she showing is receipts she, with people name on it? Where my y'all name? name? Is what I'm saying, but where my name at? Um, it, uh, it's on there. If you go to YouTube, the last thing she posted, she posted something yesterday. Okay. It was your name and I think your husband's name on some sound scan something where she says this was the last time she was gonna talk about it. Sound where exchange. Some, sound exchange. Yeah, sound scan. That's something else. My bad. Um, where she, this the last time she gonna talk about it, but she gonna show receipts. This did happen to her. Mm -hmm. She is not lying. And she, you know, and, and then Tamika's mama was explaining what she told her to do. Mm -hmm. And then Tamika got her checks and, and the other checks came to y'all. And Edward Bivens or Edwin Bivens or whoever that is, mm -hmm. they're saying that's Rocky's real name that's and he name. signed the checks. That's my name. What, but I'm saying, boy, oh, Tasha just said that wasn't your name. No, didn't, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I when said I said everybody, Edward or Edwin, no, or I, said I said the wrong Everybody name. know that. And you just said, Brad. I huh? didn't know that, so no, I didn't, I didn't say know what that. You said. No, I said I didn't know that was his name, but you said that ain't his name. No, I she never was saying said that. that. They knew that was my name. I said they knew, and you said. Oh, and I said I didn't, because yeah. I didn't know that yeah, was his no, name. That is my name. So and what right, is it? They, 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 they were trying was this, to talk was to you. TV? Who was who? Who was they? Brett? Who? 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 Uh, the girls. The girls. Uh, 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 Brett, your Brett, sister and Candy. Brett, let me just say. But they said you change your number all the time, and somebody don't have your number. No, Brett. When I had my number, nobody was using it. 
And then it was oh. the same time. Nobody was using it. I get it. You know, everybody, you got your people that you like. You know what I mean? I get it. But at the end of the day, please listen to all sides. You know, I get it. No, Y'all said I, I was a very dominant person. I'm dominant because I love what I do. I'm passionate about what I do. So when it comes down to the group, if we're not celebrated with the things Sasha, that we've done, we're all saying, and when we was younger, you was we not scared of you. Brad, you was we all scared of you. Brad, you was, we was, all, Brad, you we was, was loving on me. You. Brad, you was, we was loving all, on me back in the day. We was all scared of you. Brad, you Nobody from me scared me. like me when I came in. Because they was like, I loved you. Me and That's you what they so was like. Right. When I first peeked my head in that so so deaf door, all y'all was like, not Brett. happy at all with me. Everybody know that though. And they was like, Brett, looking at me like, who is this? And hold on one second, Brett. Come on, let's keep it. Let's keep it a hundred, Brett. Me and you all I know how to do is keep it a hundred. Okay, well let's go back. Me and you was tight. Me, you, and Nicole, we was the ones kicking it. So how you going to say when you peeped your head? I was the one who embraced you the most. At JD Studio. I okay. never forget it. I came from Chicago. All my granny taught me was I love everybody. But then when I stepped in that door and y'all was recording or something, y'all looked up at me with an ugly face. Now, we might we was cool after that. But at first, I felt no love. And I was scared of you the most. Hey, you hey, was scared Brent, of me, I I, I, You yeah. loved on me the most. I was I with your mom and everything. I, I, I did on, love man. on you. We I all grew up that. together. Come on, bro. I know your mama too. I mean, you know. I just gotta I got ask you. one question. I got you. Uh, Rocky, I got you. Yeah. I got Rock. you. I'm telling you, it was heating up. It was heating up, and Brad said, "I got you." After Latosha said, "I got you," but Brad forgetting that she pregnant okay you ain't got nobody at this point you better drop that baby that's who you got that baby well well i know you what what you what you, I mean, what you, you saying i'm saying what you, you know saying? me you 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 know i know what, what about you, you? That's yeah what we, we you from shot town this did happen to her mm -hmm. she is not lying and she you know and, and then tamika's mama was explaining what she told her to do mm -hmm. and then tamika got her checks and and the other checks came to y'all well, that's what tiny mama said that the checks were rerouted to Latosha's house. And the signatures were on the checks of her husband. No, I said I didn't know that was his name, but you said that ain't his name. No. I, hey, please listen to all sides. You know, I get it. No, Y'all said I, I was a very dominant person. I'm dominant because I love what I do. I'm passionate about what I do. So when it comes down to the group, if we're not celebrated with the things Sasha, that we've done, okay, we were right, all saying, saying, Let's keep it. Let's keep it a hundred, Brett. Me and you oh, tight. I know how to do it. Keep it okay, well, let's go back. Me and you was tight. Me, you, and Nicole, we was the ones kicking it. So how you gonna say when you peeped your head? I was the one who embraced you the most. At JD Studio. I okay. never forget it. I came from Chicago. All my granny taught me was I love everybody. But then when I stepped in that door and y'all was recording or something, y'all looked up at me with an ugly face. Now we might we was cool after that, but at first I felt no love and I was scared of you the most. Hey, you hey, was scared Brent, of me, I, 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 you yeah. loved on me the most. I was I with your mama and everything. I, I, I did on, love man. on you. We I all grew up that. together. Come on, Brad. I know your mama too. I, I mean, you know. I just gotta I got ask you. one question. I got you. Uh, Rocky I got you. Yeah. I got you. Rocky, I see you, Brad. So I just sung it to me in that interview as if the, the brat has chosen a side. And maybe she's got some beef with Latosha from back in the day. So she's saying she was very domineering and she was not welcoming. So I'm wondering if she is also internally beefing with Latosha for how she treated her back in the day. So I don't think these two are going to be friends anytime soon. They are acquaintances, and you can call them associates. But in terms of being friends, I think it's a wrap between her and the brat. Let's listen to the interaction one more time between the brat, Atosha's husband, and herself. You know me. I know you quiet over there now, but you know. I know. Me. Well, well, I know you what? What you? What you? I mean, what you, you saying? I'm saying what you, you know saying? me. You, 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 you know. Oh God, I know what, what about you? you? I know history. what about you? You, you know exactly. Right. You so, know so, so, tell me what I know about you. I, what you, you mean? You know, I ain't the guy to be running around here doing no rah rah. I would think you would know that. You ain't never seen so, me. So, so, what, no what do you expect me to say? I know you, but no, I don't would, like that, bro. What you mean? I'm acknowledging. I'm acknowledging you on here. I'm saying, Brad, you know me, so you know. I'm saying, you ever heard me do some BS out here in the street? I don't know you like that. I don't know about your personal life and what y'all do in your personal life. Yeah. I don't know about you with no mistress. I don't know about none of that stuff. No, no, no. I ain't talking about that. I okay. I, okay. Got, okay. No, no, I was saying, saying, I'm saying, what up, Brad? You, you know me. Okay. I'm your part. You know, like, I oh, was yeah, saying, I know you from Chateau. Yeah, yeah, right. so, yeah. I wasn't saying it like that. I'm just oh, saying, I thought you like, were saying, like, I, oh, what, no, I didn't okay. say you said okay. nothing. Nah, nah, nah. 
I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. Uh, what's no, no, up? No, that's why she's Shot Town too, right? That's yeah, we we from Shot Town, yeah, definitely. Well, Tasha, you know what he's saying because that's your husband. But I didn't understand what he was saying because he said I know him like I had said something oh, no, bad no, no, about no, him, and I had. Oh no! I just want to make sure. I didn't even hear that type of I can't clear up nothing. I don't know nothing about. So then Latosha wanted to clear up the rumor that her husband is cheating on her. And she said, oh, honey, I know about that. Me and my husband have an open relationship. But let me tell you something, ladies and gents. Even if Latosha and her husband don't have an open relationship, she have to come out and say that to save face. She have to have her husband's back and say, we have an open relationship and all is good and well. Because I know about it. So that's what she pretty much came out and said. But we don't know that to be true. Or we'll never know that to be true if she and her husband indeed have an open relationship. I personally think she was just doing that to save face. What do y'all think? Drop it in the comment section. Everything. Everything. I'm not oblivious to things. My husband and I, what y'all don't understand, we do have an open relationship. We have spoken about things. That is my private business. That is my private business. But because I'm sharing my heart with y'all, I'm letting y'all know, please, stop it. Y'all think I don't know. I know everything. But getting back to the issue at hand concerning this $30,000, how come her name and her husband's name is shown on the documents, the transfer of this money, the $30,000 going to their apartment? How come their name is on it and she don't know nothing about it? Could it be that maybe the husband... Had a hand in it and she didn't know he was hiding it from her. That he was swindling the sister, his sister-in-law, allegedly. Or could it be both of them were in on it? Because she said this is the first time she's hearing about it. She never knew about it. If that's the case and her name and the husband's name is on the checks, maybe the husband forged everything and didn't let her know what he was doing. Drop your comments, folks. This thing is getting really serious. Now, do you guys think Latosha's husband knew and signed those checks? Did he know that he was deliberately forging those checks? And do you think Latosha knew about it? This is all alleged. Drop your comments. Let me know how you feel about this whole messy situation and if it's ever going to be resolved. I'm over now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for watching.